Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Mr. Tom from TDT Phantom's Tech Time, talking to you from Germany and uh, with a new season coming up. And uh, this very first episode is going to be about a piece of technology and I'm not going to name it because I want to keep the mystery after you already read the title and watched the intro. Still, we want to keep things mystic. And uh, before we get right into the unboxing, I wanted to thank all those people that left a donation at tomstechtime.com slash donate. And I want to say thank you to DJI as well. And uh, finally, I want to say thank you to all those that voted on that new logo of mine. And uh, yeah, on Facebook, maybe you want to join my group as well www.facebook.com slash group slash Tom's Tech Time and you might be the next one voting something or leaving a question or simply having a stupid conversation with me about the weather or naked people running around in Germany. That's what we feature within this episode right now. Stay tuned. Cross your spirit fingers, everybody. Tom is going to apply an effect right now. Let's do magic. Let's say the epic words, DJI, it evolve again. Oh, I said them wrongly. I'm not sure what is going to pop up now. Wow, ting, it's the Phantom 3. I could do that joke over and over again. So it's the Phantom 3 Professional and let's just throw a look at what it features. And after that, let's just unbox it and after that, watch more tutorials of mine and over the next weeks all the interesting videos are going to follow up because I'm not really a big fan of unboxings being honest but we love this baby and before we destroy it by hitting our hand on it let's just unbox it right now okay guys I have chosen the dirtiest place available and uh, that's of course the perfect spot to unbox high-tech and uh, yeah again 4k is already written on here and uh, long range HD live view and uh, three axis stabilized gimbal, the visioning, no, vision positioning system, not the visioning position system, and GPS. Now let's just open up the box and I have to say, I have already opened it up once before, being honest. And the first thing that you see is this manual. It looks superb. And what does it feature and include? It features stickers and uh, gold for the pro version only, silver or uh, reddish, pink or bluish. Very, very nicely, even though I don't like this golden touch, this metal look. And next to that we see the uh, Phantom 3 quick start guide. And of course you should take a look at it and read through it carefully or you simply watch my videos. And the best thing is to do both. And uh, yeah, good decision to do both. Oh, it's in German. Wo darf ich meinen Multicopter fliegen und wo nicht? Oh no, no, it's from Switzerland, from my home country. That is kind of interesting. That is so cute. Thanks to the Schweizer Altgenossenschaft. And I don't know what they even want. What do they want from me? So is this for Switzerland only? I'm not living in Switzerland, I'm Swiss, but I don't know. Uh huh, uh huh. Many, many, many things. Rules and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. Makes it understandable where you're allowed to fly and where you should stay away from. Let's right now take a look at the main box. What is hiding down here? Oh, hey. It is the DJI Phantom 3 Professional, and we can tell that it's the professional version because the stickers are. Uh, in the golden tone and uh, the advanced version only features a silver tone and uh, let's just take it out and the first thing that we notice is the bigger looking lens of the camera down here and uh, actually yeah it looks bigger and I think the view has changed to 94 degrees only which is narrower than all these super wide angle lenses that were featured before. And this is way better because we don't have a fisheye effect at all. And uh, the image looks more natural. And this is really, really cool. And uh, even on the advanced version, you have uh, the new 94 degrees lens as well. So that's not only a pro thing, but the pro thing of course is, I, I'm not sure if you can read it from up there, but it's the 4K cam. So the DJI Phantom 3 comes with a very, very own and new uh, battery even though it looks the same from the outside 
Um, we cannot use our DJI Phantom 2 batteries within the new DJI Phantom 3. And uh, first off, I thought, okay, they haven't really increased the flight time, only a couple of minutes. And of course, every minute counts. But I thought it was more like, I don't know, an Apple thing where they only want to make money. And uh, finally, I can say that the Pro version loads way faster. But uh, that is, I think, um, limited to the Pro version only because the Pro version uh, charger uh, charges with 100 watts. And uh, yeah, that charges, I don't know, it's supposed to charge within 30 to 45 minutes the entire battery. That's kind of cool and that is speeded up. And uh, yeah, that's the new battery, a little uh, increased flight time. And of course, we're going to take that to the test later on. And um, again, taking a look at the Phantom 3, if we flip it around, we see down here, this new module that can only be found uh, when looking at the Inspire 1. Ultrasonic waves together with a camera locate the copter until I think uh, a height of three meters uh, over the ground, which means that you can superbly fly within, um, I don't know, closed areas, for example, indoors or without a GPS signal at all. So this is kind of cool and this is supposed to keep the camera steady and stable. And uh, I have seen some footage of that already. People have taken that to the test and it works out pretty fine. So this is really, really a cool invention that has been added to the Phantom 3 series to both versions of the Phantom 3, advanced and pro version. And I think that was mainly what I wanted to tell you because this is not really, I don't know, a talk about the Phantom. This is an unboxing video only. Next off, we see the big controller. And uh, this is what it looks like. Um, the big thing here holds onto our uh, iPhones on, and iPads. And uh, yeah, the main thing about the new remote control is that it features a light bridge, which is super cool, which means that the signal is very, very strong and lasts until one mile. And uh, we can control the uh, copter for one mile and have uh, HD view, 720p view of what the camera sees. And uh, this is really, really cool. But there is a limitation. Um, we should know that the DJI Phantom 3 doesn't support all kinds of uh, I don't know, phones and uh, um, tablets. It only supports some tablets and some phones. For example, this iPad mini 2. So we can put our iPad in here, for example, and then have this huge controller that looks not very, not, not completely similar, but that looks close to the Inspire One's controller. And um, yeah, the light bridge feature is what makes this uh, remote control completely new and different to the old remote control. And this remote control is much more expensive than the old one, so you should keep that in mind. If you break that remote control, I uh, took a look on DJI's website and it said 590 euros for the controller only. So um, yeah, don't break it, don't lose it, don't go too crazy with it. And uh, yeah, let's just put those things right here. Next off is this little bag, DJI. Let's take a look at what's in there. I can already feel it at my fingertips. And uh, oh yeah, it's a bunch of props. And uh, I think again, they are labeled uh, silver and black. And uh, if I count them together, all together, three in my hand and uh, five in here, which makes eight in total. So if you crash four of them, you have a whole new set. And uh, I think that looks pretty nice within that little bag. The next thing that we see is this accessories box. If we open that thing up, we find another small bag. And um, yeah, only some accessories. For the gimbal, for example, these uh, rubber things, I'm not quite sure how they're named in English. So uh, these white rubber things. So if you lose one of those, they are included and one of these safety brackets and uh, only for the case that you lose them or damage them. And finally, to complete the series of unboxings, um, we have this box which says charger and uh, probably there will be a charger in it. Oh yeah, tricky, tricky Tom. Uh, so first off, we see this new charger that looks very, very similar to, um, I don't know, laptop chargers or something like that. 
and uh, I think it charges with this end, the remote control, and with the other end, you can charge the, um, the, the Phantom's battery. And um, yeah, only the cable for the power. I don't think I have to unbox that as well. And um, lastly, within the charger box, you find this cable that you connect to the remote control and that you at the, with the other end connect to your iPhone or iPad and um, that transfers the data, the, uh, the video signal from the transmitter to the phone and to the app so that you can see what happens in the sky. And um, yeah, actually, oh, I throw things apart and I know it's kind of dirty here, but we don't care because we are awesome. So people, in total, what we get is what you see. All that stuff. And I think that is a perfect set for getting started with the Phantom. But there are some essential tools that you should definitely have when flying with the Phantom 3. And uh, even more tools that you could think of buying. Please don't forget to subscribe because I will tell you what equipment, what gadgets to use with your Phantom. And uh, yeah, all of that stuff will be coming up very, very soon. And uh, stay tuned, subscribe, leave a thumb up, be cool, be awesome, click one of the other tutorials. I know unboxings aren't that interesting, so don't rip that tutorial apart only because saying, Tom, that wasn't interesting at all. If you watch unboxings, I think, I think you have to deal with that. Oh yeah, before I forget about it, um, I promised you that I would show you some German naked skin. Only take a look at that. Whoa, pure sexiness. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Over and out, Tom's tech time. Ba -ba -da -bam. New episodes are coming up very soon, stay tuned.